Our cold open should be you just taking a swig out of it. Hey guys, Lex Dow here. And the bad taste is for Punk Rock Blues. And that was about. Uh, you said Punk Rock Blues? I did. This is DVD slash. No. This is Blu ray slash 4K collection update number. 54? Yeah, uh, that's what you said last time. I don't think there's a 4K in there. There definitely is. Is there? Number 54. So you could almost call it, call it this. 54K Blu ray collection update. 554,000 4K oh, movies of numbers, giveaway. Can we do that by next Ross, episode? Ross had mistaken the sick, the end for being 600 million Scoville as opposed to 6 million. And I said, you would die from 600 million. He goes, dude, I, did, I had the same reaction at the end that I did the first toss you guys brought in. I think I'd be fine at 600 million. I would even do a billion Scoville. I was like, dude, you would not he, be okay. He goes, my insides wouldn't. My mouth, fine. He's crazy. Yeah. Hi, Ross. Derpy. She's derpy. <gasps> derpy doggy. She's gonna bark. I'm trying to drag out this intro because we both know. Yeah. She's I'll gonna bark. Keep yawning, though. That's why I kept doing my hair. I'm gonna say the first two movies we have haven't watched them yet because you won't let me watch them without you. Mm. But you never want to watch a movie with me. You're watching Gordon I, Ramsay. The second one, technically. You're watching Gordon Ramsay. What is up with your hair? You're doing like a Shannon Leto type thing. Oh no, I was trying to decide if I should go with a Mikey Way joke or an Alex Gaskarth joke. Oh, I went with Shannon Leto. Oh. <laughs> more, uh, a little more of a deep cut. Or I could even go with like, if you see my face, hope it gives you hell, hope it gives you hell. Also, there was a guy in Girlfriend uh, Day yep. that the actor looked at, I, I was like, is this Flea? Do you have a pair of glasses? I don't. Because I guarantee you if I put on glasses right now, I'll look like Mikey Way. Who's a, a musician like this one. First one. The first one up is a biopic that we wanted to see in theaters, but well, we didn't. And also, fuck the director. Yeah. Uh, this is Bohemian Rhapsody. We got the 4K Steelbook. Look at that thing. And we haven't seen the back of it yet because the glue is and like fully on there. And weren't there allegations... For Brian Sinner, even before this movie started, like, no, why did they give it, it was because I've heard bad shit about Brian Sinner for years. Yeah, and also his, I'm pretty sure his last movie's tanked because he had to Jack the Giant Slayer, and then the fucking bad X Men movies. The uh, back one's literally just the Queen logo. And uh, I don't like the purple they used. I do. So like the front looks good, but I can't see that from here. He also like got into like arguments with Rami Malek on set yeah. and whatever. Then he kept storming and off. And then he just like didn't just... Rami Malek have to direct himself or something? No, I... I'm pretty sure he just like he... Brian Singer left set and didn't show up on set for like a week or something. Like they just he just wasn't there. I know Brian Singer. There was a different movie with Brian Singer that he just kind of really got angry, and so everyone just directed themselves. And it... oh. Every inch a classic. I really like, I kind of like the discs. But oh, I do center. really like the discs. You can show up the discs in the inside. They're not off-center. I'm it just look today. like that. I think that being, looking like that means it looks like a record and it's clean on the inside. Uh, I can take them out and show. Yeah, but it's not, do you prefer it to be real clean? No. I was surprised. Because I don't want to see Adam Lambert. I don't mean Adam Lambert. It would have been kind of cool if they would have had... These, like instead of this walk-in scene, if they would have done like the Bohemian Rhapsody video with the four faces, I just think it's weird that Adam Lambert has a movie about him, and Rami Malek looks nothing like Adam Lambert. I wake up every evening. This is another one. I, I got thirty minutes into it, and he made me stop it literally. Oh, Chris, without is And I'm, I'm I'm gonna finish this one. I don't care about it. It's not in continuity because I don't view those three movies as anything but separate. But it's the future unleashed. I don't care. Everything. The Cloverfield Paradox. Let me tell you. I watched 30 minutes of this. It's bad. Oh, the second good movie I watched today? Yeah. I watched the Bill Murray stories. Oh. Yeah. It was a documentary. Well, I saw that. It was, yeah, just it was, it was pretty good. Yeah. Cloverfield the, Paradox. Yeah. Sorry. I'm going to finish it. Maybe so. Maybe I've so listened so. I've listened to the, the Weekly Plan episode about it. Yeah, uh, yeah the first 30 minutes were... Nothing happens. It's so boring. That's the thing about sci-fi movies. Is some are good, like Alien. Some are real bad, like Alien, Alien. Four. 
I feel like, oh, never mind. I was just saying, I feel like she's not going to bark. Aliens is so real high. good. It's directed by James Cameron. I think it's the second movie ever. And we didn't say it, but I think we have digital codes for the blast too. No, only the one. Only Cloverfield doesn't come with a. It's a. It's oh, on it's Netflix. Netflix no. Yeah, it's on Netflix. Uh, which it's not a Netflix release though. No, shut up. This next one is a claymation, stop motion, whatever you call it, movie. You did like? It? I did. It's from the same Gromit studio did. behind Wallace and Gromit, which I'm not a big fan of. But they also did Chicken Run. Which I remember liking as a kid, but, but I'm Gibson. sure if I went back to it, it's yeah, it's Mel Gibson, who's a fucking horrible. And person. I hated Sean the Sheep every time. I came yeah, I don't like Sean the Sheep. Uh, they're also working on a new movie. It's coming out this year called The Missing Link. I think is what it's called. But this is it was actually it didn't come out already. No, it comes out this year. Maybe oh, I probably saw a teaser. But this is actually a pretty good movie, even though I don't like that style of uh, they animation. Or... No, it was no. actually animated. And I don't like soccer. This was early man. I think this it was one, fun. This was one of the surprise ones we picked up. On this a made Blue no Day, money on a Tuesday Blues Day, right? I we think were so. Like, hey, you gotta watch the video to see. It. Made uh, no made no money. Made no money in theaters. Yeah. Who's in it? Who's in it? The voice cast: Eddie Redmayne, Tom Hiddleston, Maisie Williams, and T- I knew, uh, Timothy Spall. I knew Tom Hiddleston was in it because I watched an interview with him just. Kind Eddie of Redmayne, he's in Fantastic Beasts, Where to Find yeah, Them, in the case just don't open them. Yeah. This was in a Tuesday Blues Day. This was a surprise one. It's green, but don't let that fool fool ya. It's. I don't think that was in a Tuesday Blues Day. I'm sorry. Was... Yeah, it was. We didn't show it. We're like, hey, this is one of the surprise ones. I might have shown that one. I don't know. Garfield the movie. With a slip, I like it. I'm not a big fan Look of the faceless, but... Look how cute Odie is in the back. I know. It's like a human Max. He kind of reminds me of the exact dog from Son of the Mask. And one of my favorite actors Breck ever and in this. And what happened to him? Breck and Meyer? Well, he was in the Sweet Street Sweeper Social Club music video, which I'll put right here. We've already put that in a video. <laughs> I know. I've put it in lots of videos. Have you? Yeah, like three at least. Look how cute he is. Uh, he's so cute. And yeah, this one does come with a digital code. So I have this watch list. I've mentioned it a couple times on camera now of all the movies I'm trying to get to. And this is a, this next movie is one I, I don't want to see. And this is the director's cut. My my own brother here. My own my own brother. brother. He wrote this movie down on my watch list. It's this one. It's in different handwriting. And uh, he basically forced me to buy it. This is the director's cut, so I wonder if it'll be... Well, I think I, I saw a cut that supposedly was an original release. This movie's kind of like the a George Lucas Star Wars movie where they just, in every scene they come up with... They'll... It's like Blade Runner. There's like 15 copies yeah, of the movie. they just, he'll put stuff... Is he a replicant? Is he not? I don't care. I think that's a it's bad a movie. It's a film by not bad, R- Russell like McCahey. McCahey? Yeah, I think that's weird that that's on the front. You gonna show what it is? Highlander. Director's cut, 30th anniversary edition. People have heard me talk about this one. And this front cover... You faggot, Nash. <laughs> this front cover makes me mad, too, because this is the worst part of the movie. This movie sucks. And, like... I just said the F word on camera. Yeah. I feel bad. But I'm quoting a movie. It's okay. Uh, 1700s to tr- 1986. Isn't it, like, the 1300s? No, it's 1700s. Because the 1700s... It, it's the 700s. The 1700s is like... 1536. Okay, I was going to say. 1536 yeah, it's like to 1986. Medieval time. Yeah. It's all... It's, the it's, Wild it's West. It's literally just Braveheart. And there's an actor in this who plays... How did the world go from medieval times to western times? I don't know. There's an actor in this who... His name... What happened all the castles? His name is like Augie in this. And then... Augie Farks? No, I don't remember his character name, but his brother went on to play a character with the same name in Braveheart. Weird. Maybe it's the same one. There can only be one. Then they made six of them, three shows, an anime series. I just thought there was a lady one, too. I don't remember what it was called. Oh, jeez. Don't tell the SJWs. The bloody gum. <laughs> then they'd go back and watch this one and be like, wow, this movie. I'm Oof. surprised this. Uh, <laughs> this is your BVS. You know how upset I get at the mere mention yeah. of Batman vs. Superman? Batman v Superman, sorry. That's you with Highlander. <laughs> Bad. I tell you, dude, you go back and watch an old movie with practical effects, yeah. and it holds up. How? But then you look at things with like real shitty, like old special effects, and you're like, Poof. how bad? How big do you think a cyclops eye should be? 
Realistically, it should be the size of two eyes. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. So All right, this next one is an upgrade. We have this on DVD. Oh, Garfield is an upgrade, too. I forgot. What is this? Oh. Uh, so we had this on DVD, and it was really cheap on Amazon. And I just felt like, sometimes I like to go on Amazon and just be like, But it's oh, a good movie. It's okay. It's a good movie. I guess you can it's call it okay. Good. You can call it good. I guess it's okay. I don't remember it. I, I remember specific bits. It. Yes. I remember specific bits, like the part where he's drinking the Benadryl. And the jet ski. And the jet ski. And the, and the Q-tip. And the Q-tip. Yeah, 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 And then yeah. I think there's a pizza scene. Yeah, there's something. There's this is Hitch. Hitch. I remember the opening uh, scene that I was falling asleep Have you it. seen Hitch? This is, I feel like this is when Will Smith was peak. You know. Couldn't go wrong. I just realized this now. He's been in a lot of bad movies. I just realized. Is that what you realized? I realized it yesterday. I just realized now. That it's both a pun. Hitch? Yeah, his name is Hitch, and he's yeah. a love doctor. Yeah. He hitches people together. Yeah. It's weird. The tagline like, was probably, get hitched. Cause when, you, when you think it says... Will Smith and Kevin which James, only goes get to hitched. show that just when you think you, you found bitch. true love, there's always a hitch. In all caps. What's weird about this is, like, Kevin James at this time was also still, a, like, a huge star. Uh, uh, next up is another upgrade. Oh, we're just moving on from Hitch. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty uh, next up is another upgrade. We have this on DVD, and we have the third one on Blu-ray. You guys got it for me for Christmas a couple years ago. I will never buy the second one. I'll never even watch a third. And this is Joyride with... This is Joy... The Amazon thing started. Uh, this is Joyride with uh, Paul Walker, Steve Zahn. We bought you the third one for yeah. Christmas? Yeah. Right, uh... Are you sure it was Christmas, or it was just a dollar tree we gave it to you one day? It was maybe for my birthday. Okay. Or something. You and Dad. I think we just showed up and was like, yeah. hey, we bought this. Yeah. That was, I think, the day we got Grand Piano, which is on DVD. Um, which... Funny about this, Steve Zahn is first build. Really? This is at That's a time a... when Steve Zahn was the bigger actor than Paul Walker. That's an actor that is, he's kind of, he literally only did, like, comedy drama. Who? Steve, Steve Zahn? Zahn? Yeah. He's fucking good in everything. Yeah. This is like a horror thriller. Have he's... you seen this? No. First yes. time I ever saw it was with uh, Green. It's weird. It's kind of good. What's though. interesting about Steve Zahn? Oh, the end where Steve Zahn gets a fucking girder put through his leg. I don't remember. Oh, I'm spoiling it. Fuck. Especially because I don't think about any of these people have seen it. I think about that today. What's funny about Steve Zahn like, is like he's kind of like Steve Buscemi, where you're like, oh, he's gonna this. He's that's a gonna, great character. That's gonna actor. be awkward, and then you watch the movie and you're like, holy shit, he's amazing in First this. First thing you ever saw him in. Steve Daddy Zahn, daycare. Dad, yeah, Daddy daycare. Argo, every time I've seen that, I'm like, man, Steve Buscemi, he's up to some weird shenanigans, he's a funny guy, and he's gonna be in this. And you watch, you go, oh yeah, I forgot that Steve Buscemi is one of the most talented people around. It's weird, because <laughs> Steve Buscemi can be in, like, a Reservoir Dogs, or a Fargo, like a real serious yeah. movie, and then and he's the, crazy eyes. And yeah, the, and, and then, yeah, and like, <laughs> it's like, the next movie he's in, they just make fun of his appearance. Yeah. Uh, so it's I, the next one I haven't watched yet. I, I guess I was there when we bought it. Yeah, the other two we don't have. Yeah, Denzel. This was the Magnificent Seven with Denzel, Chris Pratt, and Ethan. Oh, Ethan Hawke. I like Ethan Hawke. Well, you know, he was in Juliet Naked. You know why? Because hmm. you haven't seen Gattaca yet. <laughs> yeah, he's in that. Ah, <sighs> westerns are making a comeback. Yeah, and you know I used to. Well, they had that 2011 comeback where Jonah Hex and Tom yeah, Weaver versus Jonah aliens. Hex was, bad. was it? It's I caught fun. part of it. In it's a fun. I haven't seen once. Cowboys and Aliens yet. I'll buy it on Blu-ray and finally watch it. It's one I wanted Where's to see. I've heard it's not good. Where's it and Aliens? I've heard it's John Favreau's worst movie. But with like the John thing, Favreau did that. He directed. Yeah, it's weird. Um, Some of his I think big he movies. Wrote it. It's weird. I don't. I don't imagine like it's weird to me when I think like, hey, we're giving a huge budget to the director of this movie. Oh, who's the director? Vegas baby. Who's the director of this? Uh, John Favreau. Wait, we're giving John Favreau this big of a he budget? Elf. Yeah, and he directed <laughs> the first two Iron Mans. Like, and he started Jungle the MCU. Book. It's weird when yeah. he gets money, because he, you look at him and you're like, uh, you, I think, Vegas. You know what I think baby. it is? You know what I think it is? My first exposure to John Favreau is he get puked on and I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, Westerns are making a comeback. You I also, used to not like that genre, but Hostels, uh, Ridiculous Six, uh, yeah, that did a lot for the genre. What's the one I just watched? Sisters Brothers? Oh, I shouldn't have mentioned that. Next up is one I haven't watched yet, and I got charged from the Disney Movie Club again. If you follow us, I've probably ranted about this before. Sometimes I forget to hit decline. Uh, Disney I charges me. the last time, though, because you yeah. came to my room and was like, look! Uh, Disney charges me close to $40. Uh, 
and it's usually a movie I don't even want. This was The Nutcracker in the Four Realms, which got just awful reviews from last year. I'm going to watch it, though. I've been forcing myself to watch a lot of shit recently, so it can't be that bad. Forgot to show this. Uh, with Nutcracker in the Four Realms came, this came with it. It's a, I think, a bookmark. It's a bookmark. It's a key. It's a key. Wow. This was bloody great. Was it? Yeah. How uh, is that a pun? It's because it's bloody? Yeah. Eh, I was just saying it's bloody great. Because well, uh, you're trying to be Australian. If you watch this movie, don't look up anything. Don't watch the trailer. Because this, I don't even, I don't want to spoil it. This is a very overshowed trailer though yeah and Everyone see i didn't it. i when i first saw the trailer i was like oh this is gonna be another fucking just random ass jj abrams produced not very good movie because jj abrams work i'm very hit or miss with yeah like there's some stuff i think he'll take a lot he'll make there's it. some stuff where i'm like like star trek real good okay first star, star trek, trek in the darkness oh. bad okay mission impossible 3 real good force awakens and eh. You know? So it's like, he's real hit or miss We're going to Super 8, though. Did he... Oh, Super 8. Are we just talking about directorial? Yeah. Super 8's all right. Did Is he it? direct Cloverfield? Or just produce it? I don't think he's directed any of them. I don't know. Anyway. I know he produced Star Trek into... Or don't, Star Trek Beyond, and that movie was yeah, incredible. Agreed. Uh, don't look up anything about this. Just win the digital code. It's a war movie that takes a real weird twist about halfway through, and that's all In I'm going to say. And uh, this was real great. I, this I really the story this to one. bother you of World War Two. Yeah, <laughs> you could say that. It's not the it, the twist isn't as weird. So I'd enjoy that. Oh yeah, it I wouldn't think be you ruined. Would. For I don't me know if the last second I'll never watch again. It's I did a not. Movie. I did not like the trailer. Definitely like a. It's like a body horror movie too. But it's also just. It's real good. A body horror. Yeah. Okay. You know, like where there's mutations to people's oh. bodies and shit. I don't really have a problem with mutation. I literally Some people a... are really creeped out by body horror. Oh. Well, do they die afterwards? Yeah. It's okay, gruesome. good. It's like fucking Nazis that's fine. burning people. Oh, that's fine. You know my thing, though. Oh, you can't ruin someone's life. I can't, I can't okay. like, ruin someone's life. There's this episode... Of, oh, I don't want to get into it on camera. But I was going to say, quickly, um... It's about... Oh, I'm not okay. I'm not against mutation unless they... As long as they die. But, like, literally... But someone gets their hand cut off, you can still survive that. I know, but then they have to deal with that the rest of their life. It's but a movie, it's a movie, who cares? <laughs> Anyways. Sometimes you want people to suffer a little bit. Yeah, but then I want them to die in the end. You know what I really want to hate in movies? Uh, you you would hate working in the MCU. Because remember in Phase 2, when literally everyone got their hand cut off? Yeah, and I didn't even know about that. Yeah. Is that the red one? That's the red one. So maybe that was a fake The ether? Never saw it. Um, it was like a red goopy. The only that's problem, the only one you haven't seen, right? Yeah. yeah. So eventually, <laughs> but not soon. Invisible woman used her powers at all. Her nose just started bleeding. Yeah. And then she like would pass out. It's like get a hold Tim of Tim Story. Tim Story. So, if you recall, a few episodes ago, I bought Dylan Dog. Dead of Night. Dead of Night. And you did and not like it. I hated it. It was just weird because it was like you were so looking into it. Stop kicking that. I keep and then I also bought the Vampire's Assistant Cirque du Freak. Remember those two? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, we still, they were both. We like, still don't know the name of it. They were both like supernatural movies that came out from between 2009 and 2011 that I wanted to see back in the day, never got around to it, and I finally am. So and this is, is the third one. This is 2010. No, this is from 2011. I think. Oh, I thought it still began. Yeah. No, I just said from those. That's yeah, I know, but I thought this one. But anyways. Been. Hated those other two. Because they were shit, boring, bad special effects. This one... Carl Urban? Yeah. This one wasn't great. But I liked it. No. I, I enjoyed this one. Because it takes place in the desert. The end, the whole end climax in the desert on a train. I love sand movies so well, I hate when much. trains ruin the desert, though. No, no, no. This one's... Trains. It's great. There's like... Hey. Oh, and this... Oh, it's Priest. <laughs> Sorry. Priest with Paul Bettany. And, uh, so this whole thing, it's kind of like a they live type, uh, society where there's like billboards on the side of walls that say like, you must conform and 1984 stuff like that. Yeah. And the whole premise of the movie is like the priests protect the city from vampires because there was a whole war and the whole premise of the city, number one uh, rule is to go against the church is to go against God. That's the whole rule. And 
which this is definitely one of the problems with this movie was it set up so many sequels that will never ever happen that they How obviously many didn't happen. Probably like two, okay. and uh, maybe just one. But there's a lot of like loose ends where they're obviously we're trying you to just set watch up. it. Watch this maybe a week ago, but uh, I had fun with it. Like the action was pretty fun, and Carl Urban not he was underutilized. He Paul, always Paul is. Ben, but it's Paul Carl Bettany, Urban. Paul Bettany had a real great name role in two this. movies that Carl or Doom. name three movies that he first build. First build Dread. Doom, possibly at the I think time. He is. he is Doom. Because I think he was a bigger star yeah. than The Rock at the time. Uh, a third one? Oh, yep, that's why I said three, because I knew Doom and Dread. Both D movies, maybe the third is a movie. Uh, you can, can you? His first movie ever was Lord of the Rings. Oh, that's right. Uh, but yeah, this, I liked this. I really, I really liked this. I wonder Special if, effects were pretty good, I wonder if that's why they brought him in for Ragnarok, to work alongside Kate Blanchett, because she was... Oh, and, and Priest? Paul Benny's character's Priest? He kills, like, a fucking pastor or something in this. It's crazy. I'll bloody stop you, Sheriff of Nottingham, Ben Mendo. Oh, no, you won't. Robin of Loxley? Or Langley? or whatever. I think it's Loxley. I think it's Sir Robin of Loxley. Uh, this is Robin Hood 2018. This was a... If th- I would have seen this earlier than I did, would have been on my worst movies of 2018 list. It's not that this was necessarily bad. No, it was bad. <laughs> but it's it's that it added nothing new to the Robin Hood tale. It's better than the Russell Crowe one, though. Let me tell you that. That's a bad fucking movie. Because uh, Russell Crowe's at goddamn 45 and it's supposed you... to be an origin movie. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, it's just that this was literally a nothing movie. The action was bland. The story was bland. It was boring. They all looked like they were just wearing hoodies from the Gap. Uh... Robin Hood was basically just Arrow yeah. from the Arrowverse. Um, and Taron Egerton, I guess he was fine in his performance. Jamie Foxx was bland. Uh, ben Mendo was the Jeez. best part of the movie because Ben Mendo's great and his death was the best part of the movie. Wow. He dies. Jesus. Uh, Someone's going to win this code and I'll know that. It's fine. It's. Oh my God. It's fine. This movie's glue. not. Feel that. Look how much that oh, is. Shit. You watch me struggle with that? Yeah, yeah you just run it. This movie, uh, it's fine, I guess. But it's... It's not great. This is a spoiler alert for Robin Hood. If you want... If you don't want to know this, but... You're going to put a time on? Uh, Jamie Dornan at the end. He's Will Scarlet. Do you know the Robin Hood nope. tale? Nope. That's why I was excited for this movie, because I, I kind of... I, well, I started a British show... That was about Robin Hood, which was incredible, and then I fell asleep and never started again. Okay. But so you know I the should. basic gist of it. I know right? he robs people. I know no characters have a Robin Hood. Okay, you don't know talk. who Will Scarlet is then? No. Okay. Well, Will Scarlet basically. Is he the guy with the face? Yeah. Okay. So, at the end, Jamie Dornan, who plays He's Will Scarlet. He's crushed in gray in Fifty Shades. Who? Jamie Dornan? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. He's in one. Anyway, they basically. He's Two Face from The Dark Knight. Yeah, you've talked about this. He, he falls over. A barrel of gasoline falls on the ground. Half his face is in it. It lights on fire. Half his face burns away. They show him at the end credit. This is another movie where it sets up a sequel. It will never happen. This is made. This movie made five dollars in box office, but half his face is just melted off. And and it turns like he's in the shadows or whatever. And the church, the priest is like, "Do you want to redeem yourself for the church? Take out Robin Hood." And then it turns, and he's half his face is missing, and he's like, <sighs> "You know that Trolls is getting a sequel in 2020." Trolls, the animated? Yeah, Weird. 2016. Guess what it's called? Trolls Two. Trolls World Tour. It's stupid. It's been. Pretty- oh, it's just him firing air. Yeah. Oh, and another thing about this movie: the opening where it shows the Crusades, like him on the Crusades. It's like the fucking Iraq War. A guy has a fucking machine gun that shoots crossbows. It's ridiculous. Bad movie. Uh, next up, this is another upgrade. We had it on a DVD. Yeah, and we it have just so got many released. Copies. Just got released yeah. by Mill Creek. Mill Creek. And you know what I hate? They put no special features. So one thing I don't like about you, Mill Creek, you don't put special features on your DVDs. And also sometimes they don't even put spe- uh, subtitles. This was the artwork for Welcome to the Jungle. Did we say too. his rundown? Yeah, it's a little story. It's a rundown. I really like the discard on the Blu-ray. Yeah. Yeah, Sean William Scott. I don't know if I've mentioned this on camera. 
My favorite you actor. You haven't mentioned it on camera. I don't know if I have. We definitely we did video. Sean William Scott is my favorite is actor of show. all time. It is the game show. I mentioned earlier, bringing westerns back hardcore with some really good movies. This is the Sisters Brothers. It's the first ever English spoken film by the director. I can't pronounce his name. It's a uh, Jacques Audaud. But it's got Jake Gyllenhaal, oh sorry, John C. Riley, Joaquin Phoenix, Jake Gyllenhaal, Riz Ahmed. Riz Ahmed is great in this. Uh, this is a dark comedy, like dark western comedy that is very brutal and violent at times, but really funny at times, but also really dark at times, and really sad at times. It's all over the board, but I really, really enjoy this one. And John C. Riley and Joaquin Phoenix are both just amazing actors. I think, uh... Especially Joaquin Phoenix, that dude blows me away with how good he is sometimes. I think this is the farthest we've ever gone. What? You mean, like, in our conversation? No, I mean, like, walking in a straight line. This is the farthest we've ever gone. <laughs> it's my favorite line from the whole movie. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. Did you ever realize it? I didn't know if you realized it in person when I said it, or when you were editing it, because I was hoping you would put something on the screen, but you didn't. In the Tuesday Blues Day, in the outro, I said that my name was Russell Nash. Oh, I no, I didn't. You never caught it? it? No. We said, because you were like, I met Trace, I went, I'm Russell Nash. And then I was hoping our names would flash back on screen, and you would say, it was a bad Trace, you're Russell Nash. No, I, I Who's Russell Nash? He's the, he's the 1986 Highlander version. Like, the 1536 with Connor McCloy, and then he's had, like... Oh, yeah. you, uh, Nash. Okay. Oh, that's... That's mine. Well, I bought a movie this week. I'll let you And this got released... I'll let you have the floor. Stripes on Steelbook. It's awesome. Oh, this was another upgrade from this DVD. Is another upgrade. We have so many upgrades in this episode. Great back. Artist down there. Uh, the inside, I only like the disc. It's just blue. It's just it? blue, but the disc uh, is like that. Uh, great movie if you haven't seen it, but I just watched it, and it holds up. Still hilarious, but very homophobic. Like, almost Highlander. Uh, I like the one joke with Judge Reinhold where he's like, hey, can you guys help me hold this in? I think they do a check. What? Uh, this is almost Highlander levels of homophobia. Um, is it that bad? Yes. Most of the fights that ensue within the troops are because they call each other gay. Because there's, like, the black guys, like, you know, they kind of divide themselves into like, yeah. little gains, and, like, the black guys, uh, the one black guy keeps being accused of being gay, and then all the other black guys join, in, and he's not gay, and then the white guy's like, well, you are all gay. And then they have a big fight, and he's like, well, you need to, you guys remember the scene? Because they have to wake up and do the marching thing. And then that's why they all fight and pass out. And then they wake up late and then they have to rush. Remember? You're yeah. familiar? That whole thing is because they call each other gay. Alright. Settle down, Francis. 80s. That's a line from the movie. Yeah. I know. That's a good one. Yeah. Thanks. There's also the really weird part where Harold Ramis with the girls like doing the force field or whatever. Oh, yeah. It's so <laughs> weird. <laughs> and then up. Bill Murray is... In the kitchen with the girl using a spatula on her butt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, because they break into the house. Yeah. Weird. It's a weird movie. Weird. They kind of do the thing in, like, uh, where cause he kind of talks to the girl first before mm -hmm. actually they do anything. And they do that in Fanboys. Remember, they have the escorts and you just talk. This movie reminds me a lot of Wisconsin. Yeah. I got, got, my, shit I got, my, no, I got my ass kicked in Wisconsin. We live in Wisconsin. Hello, Wisconsin. This is a really cool steelbook. I love it so much. It's one of my favorites now. So, wow. We listed some movies. Wow. We now get to list which ones are on digital that we're giving away. Oh, just say the name. Bohemian Rhapsody. Early Man. Do you want me to do it? I can tell No, that's fine. I got it. Garfield the Movie. Magnificent, Magnificent Seven. Magnificent Seven. What's on the back? Oh. Nutcracker in the Four Realms. Overlord. Robin Hood. And this, I want to say, is like cardboard. Like real thick. Oh, this is the thick one? Yeah. yeah. And then and last actually, up... To prove that this one's the thick one, we're going to mail this one to you. Sisters, Sisters Brothers. Brothers. So good. So those are the movies for the digitals. Yeah. Our social links... At Punk Rock Blues on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, I'm at BatTracy01 on literally everything. Check out my Stardust. I do tons of reactions. I'm going to post a few tonight. And your name? Um, 
Bad Tracy? Yeah, you didn't say that part. You just oh. said my link. Well, we said it earlier. Oh. Um, I've been to dancing. You definitely, yeah, follow, check out my Stardust. Follow me on Instagram at straightjthshirk and my Stardust at my style. My style. Yeah. See, I said Ted Danson this time. I'm going to tell you that I did the joke. Oh, so I, I catch on, yeah. Ted. Huh. Ted Danson. I'm on the phone with Ted Danson. Keep yeah. it down. I'm like, I was like, uh, can I... Do, I want to ask this in general because I didn't get a single comment for it. I thought someone would have caught it. Maybe Curtis Lake or Bernsey. I thought someone would have pulled it out. In my least favorite video, that little thing I did, I don't think anyone heard the joke. I only told Dad it. I haven't talked to you about it yet. But I thought someone would pull it out. thought that was funny. But then again, I only got hmm. a few views. At the start of it, I say, I'm about to go drive in, so I'll keep this boxer brief. Oh, yeah, I caught that. I Did thought that was funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my new thing now. I want to make a shirt of it. I'll keep it boxer brief. Because you would say I keep it brief. You can check out our uh, Patreon and donate some Patreon. money to us. Patreon.com slash Punk Rock Blues. I'm going to be doing a video us. soon. Chuck us a buck. I'm going to be doing a video soon on every reward tier. And then I'm also going to post on Instagram. And we also have site. a new uh, series idea. Yes. That maybe we'll post early to the Patreon. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, so yeah. pledge for our Patreon. You get that new series that isn't mentioned yet. But go back. Your least favorite movie, or what you believe to be the worst movie, go comment on that video or this video. What's yeah. your worst movie? Give us your least favorite movie and your worst movie uh, in the code. This was also, we didn't have any universal codes. Oh, yeah. So, in lieu of a universal code, tell us your worst, the worst movie of your life. That is the end. Wow. Thought I was gonna blow it to the camera. Yeah, I really did. <laughs>